Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, being harassed by my husband here while I'm trying to do a video. Um, I'm going to show you how to make these fishnet, fishnet, fishtail <laughs> uh, bracelets here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not. He's in his workshop. Uh, making comments um, and these little earrings it's the same stitch and you can actually make your own loom to do this and what I'm gonna do here is use a binder clip really fancy take a folded piece of cardboard you know you must have plenty of cardboard around this weekend and I'm clipping the binder clip on there and that's gonna give me something to hold on to and um, these little pegs will work as a loom or if you have the rainbow loom this little mini loom that comes with it can be used as well um, when you're making the bracelet on the mini loom the bracelet will be built and kind of go down the tube and then you'll need to kind of catch it with a crochet hook and pull it on through while you're working um, honestly this is the best way to do it I think um, you can also make a little loom with a cork and two thumbtacks I saw that on the internet um, and uh, that will work as well but the thing that's nice about the binder clips is that you have place to stick your crochet hook through there to pick up the pegs. All right, so you need some loops. You can use whatever colors you like. We're going to do a uh, three color pattern here. I think I'll start with red. The first loop that you put on, you're going to twist it. So you're going to put it on one leg of the loom, twist it, and put it over the other. Also, if you're using a regular loom, you can just use two pegs of the loom. That'll work too. So um, this is a craft for everybody. I'm going to use this uh, kind of fluorescent green color. Let's see, red fluorescent green. What color should I add to red and fluorescent green, honey? Pur pur purple. Purple! Red fluorescent green and purple. All right. This will be quite a color combo. <laughs> All right, so once you have three on there, your first one's twisted. Every one that you add after that is just going on plain. You're going to use your hook to lift the first one over the other two. So that first twisted one gets lifted over and that kind of locks the uh, the bracelet. So since I lifted a red one up, I'm going to put a red one on because I'm just working in a three color pattern. Then I'm going to lift the green one over. Purple, red, and green. What a lovely color combination. <laughs> and it's like Christmas and Halloween all rolled into one. And you just keep on doing this pattern until you have um, until you've made a strip long enough for either a bracelet or an earring. This can go pretty quickly once you get the hang of it. And after a few more rows you'll see how the um, how the pattern is coming together. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you have a better look at this. There we go. My husband's being so good. He hasn't even turned on a power tool yet. I think I've got five minutes before the sander comes out. We've all got the Christmas weekend off. And we've got electricity, so we're feeling all very fancy and fortunate this weekend. Um, small children can do this too, and they actually usually prefer just to pull the um, bands over with their fingers. So if you don't have a hook, you don't need it, but you can start to see how that fishtail pattern's coming along. I am going to pause the camera, do a few more rounds, and start it back up again so you can see how we finish it off to do a pair of earrings and how you can finish it to do a bracelet. Be back in a minute. Okay, I have my, ear my uh, strip of little fishtail here long enough to make an earring. If you wanted to make this a bracelet, I'm going to show you how to finish it off either way. If you want to make it a bracelet, you got to make sure it's long enough uh, to go around your wrist, hey, like that. Obviously, you know how a bracelet works, I would imagine, if you're watching a bracelet video. Um, so to finish this off, so we'll put our last, our last strip on here, which is purple. And then we'll lift our bottom over the top as normal. And when you're sure that's as long as you want it, then you're going to lift the next bottom one over without adding a strip. And then um, if you're going to make this a bracelet, just grab your C-clip or S-clip and just pick up each of those ends with the S-clip and then pick up your starting ends with the other side of the S-clip or C-clip, okay? That's going to give you your bracelet. But since I want to make a hoop earring, what I'm going to do is actually pull these, um, I'm going to put these tails, the on from the beginning of our bracelet, those first loops, I'm going to pull those right over the pegs again. And then I'm going to lift up the bottom loop. Okay, so now I've got a nice ring there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an earring finding. Here I have just a little um, ear wire. And you don't need to use a C-clip here because it's going to be fine in here and it's not going to slip through because the bands are so thick. Just open up your earring wire by twisting and then 
I'm actually gonna I'm gonna just pick up each side off the pegs just like that so I don't even have to worry about losing it. Get the other side in there and pull it off the peg. And then I'm going to close that little earring finding up. Are we in frame pretty much? All right, and we don't have to worry about that coming out because the bands are so thick in there. That looks very um, Cinco de Mayo to me. Very, uh, very colorful and festive earring color choices provided by my husband. Aren't they lovely? I think so. Um, <laughs> and there are just some other, uh, some other colored earrings I made here from a package of stretch bands that were very carelessly left around the living room. The kids are really going to have to learn how to hide their stretch bands or they're not going to have any left because this is like the gateway craft people. I can't stop. Oh my gosh. You want to get somebody addicted to crafts, give them a stretch band loom and it's all over. So there you have it. The fishtail bracelet slash earrings tutorial. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, sharing is caring, put it on Pinterest. You know, you know the drill. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.